G'day, John for the Hot End. Today I'm going to do an idiot's guide to printing ABS. Okay, today I'm going to talk about printing with ABS. Now, this is a, uh, a guide for beginners. Turn, turn, turn! So, all you people out there that have been printing for a long time and have used ABS, tune out now because you don't need to watch this. This is for people that uh, think PLA is the way to go and when the, the very name of ABS is mentioned, they go, ah! don't want to know about it. ABS, now I'm going to look down because I have no idea how to pronounce this, but ABS stands for something I can't say, but it's up there, okay? That's what ABS stands for. ABS is one of the first filaments that I was exposed to when I started 3D printing. Uh, when I started there was PLA, and there was ABS, and then there was nothing. Hey everybody, an old man's talking. Uh, the others may well have existed, the ones that are around now, but I certainly didn't know about them. ABS is my go-to filament. If I want to print something nice, uh, that's relatively strong, but prints really nice detail for the models that I print, I turn to ABS. As I said, people are scared of ABS. They don't really understand how to print it properly. So I'm going to go through a few basic things that are required to print ABS. Okay, number one is your temperature. It's getting hot in here, it's so hot. So take off all your clothes. I would recommend any person that's starting out with ABS on a nice new spool do a temperature tower test first. There's a link up here to one that we put out. It's on Thingiverse, it's also on Trimpy. This gives you a good idea of how your stringing is going to be affected, how your, your temperature is going to be a, a factor, how your retractions are going to work. Because they are important and you need to get them right. As I said, there are several things that you need to get ABS right. Okay, you've printed your temperature tower and you've got your ideal temperature for the filament that you're using, which for ABS, you're usually looking somewhere between 235 to 250 degrees C uh, as a ballpark figure for printing with ABS. The next most important thing you need is a heated bed. Don't try and print ABS without a heated bed. It won't stick. You've got your printing temperature right. You've got your bed temperature right. Now your bed has to be level. You cannot try and print ABS on a bed that is not level because the slightest little part that is not stuck down to the bed properly will lift and it will warp. Warp one, engage. So it must be level. The next thing is your print settings for your first layer. Your first layer height must be less than 100. Um, I'm not sure in some of the other slices, but in Simplify 3D there is a specific value that you can set for your first layer height. I set mine at 90, sometimes 85. This mushes the first layer into the bed a little more to give you better adhesion. Don't be misled by people that say, oh, you should have that set at 150 or 200 so you've got a nice fat layer like a raft. Not correct. Wrong. That is you have that as a low number which squashes that first layer into the bed. The next thing I do, if you want it to stick, you could use either a raft, which I don't like, or a brim. Now, I prefer to use a brim. As I said, I don't like rafts very much. Rafts work, but it uses a lot of filament and it's slow and yeah, I just don't like it. Depending on the size of the print that you're doing, determines the number of laps of brim that you should use. A small print like this, I would use between 10 and 20 laps of brim with zero gap between the brim and the model. That should be ample to give you one time to get your 
bed leveling settings correct while it's printing the brim and two enough adhesion to keep the edges of the print stuck nice and firmly down to the bed. If you're doing a bigger print, say something 200 millimeters square or thereabouts, something larger, you will need more perimeters. The more perimeters that you have, the better chance you have of stopping the corners, warping or lifting off the bed. Another thing, if it's a big print, is do more than one layer of your brim. If I'm doing a large print, it will have 20 to 30 laps or perimeters of brim, and I will do two, even three layers of brim, all zero from the model. They will keep it held nice and tight. Yes, you are tight like a tiger.